Welcome to the recap powered by Cinelinks.com. I'm your host Matt and these are the biggest news stories that had the community buzzing this week. In a Cinelinks exclusive from a credible source in Disney, there's a rumor that there could be a trilogy of Obi-Wan Kenobi standalone movies. These would be three separate Obi-Wan adventures between episodes three and four. One would be set on Tatooine, two would be set on Obi-Wan traveling elsewhere in the galaxy. This would also include Qui-Gon Jinn, Owen Lars, characters from other Clone Wars TV shows. So it's really exciting, can't wait to see that, hopefully it's true, but at this moment it's just a rumor. Now, in other movie news, Ghostbusters finally, finally has been confirmed for a new movie. Paul Feige, the director, has actually said that there will be a reboot this time. So for all those that thought that there could be Dan Aykroyd and Bill Murray, unfortunately, that won't be the case. Not to say that there won't be cameos. However, this will be an all-female cast. And it's exciting because the Heat writer, Katie DePold, will be writing the script. As of now, there is no cast yet, but we can kind of assume that Melissa McCarthy or, you know, Kristen Wiig might be involved. Moving on to Disney news, there's a new film that Disney's coming out with called Tomorrowland, and they actually just released a teaser. For those of you who don't know what Tomorrowland's about, George Clooney will be playing a former boy genius partnered with Britt Robertson, who plays a bright, optimistic teen and they'll be in a danger-filled mission to unearth the secrets of Tomorrowland. Check out the trailer. What if there was a place? A secret place where nothing was impossible. No way. A miraculous place where you could actually change the world. You wanna go? A brand new arcade game is coming out by Bandai Namco called Star Wars Battle Pod. In this, you'll be able to fly across the galaxy in different ships in the Star Wars universe, getting a panoramic view in different situations, like Death Star, Hoth, Endor, Tatooine even, among a lot of different other situations. Now the release date will be January 2015. For those of you that are excited about Super Smash Bros. coming out like I am, You'll be happy to hear that Super Smash Bros. Wii U will be in stores November 21st. Now, along with that, the Amiibos will also be available at that time. Now, for those of you that don't know what Amiibos are, they were released on, on E3 as little tiny figurines that you can actually play with on the Wii U console, that little pad that they have. Now, there's Mario, Peach, Yoshi, Donkey Kong, Link, Fox, Samus, and a whole bunch more coming out in the first wave. Now later on, in the second wave, you've got Zelda, Diddy Kong, Luigi, Pit, and even Captain Falcon. And also the GameCube controller will have an adapter for the Wii U that's going to be coming out. And an even special one with the Super Smash Bros. Insignia. There will be a bundle available. I'll be getting that. Now moving on to TV news, we've actually got a brand new... Brand new couple of scenes at the Star Wars Rebels Spark of Rebellion coming out on Sunday, October 26th at 7 p.m. Eastern on ABC. In this new scene, you'll get a little bit more familiar with the Inquisitor. And also, you'll get Darth Vader. That's right, a cameo of Darth Vader, played by none other than the man himself, James Earl Jones. The regular series will be on Mondays at 9 p.m. Eastern on Disney XD, and it's already been renewed for a second season. I'm Matt. Remember, for all your news, reviews, editorials, and more, keep it on Cinelinks.com.